Lots of you will be returning to the classroom with new bags, jackets and books. But have you ever noticed how these things are costing more money now? Well, it's all to do with something called the cost of living crisis. Millions of adults are having to pay more money for things like energy bills, petrol and food. Well, we've been speaking to children to see how schools are helping and to listen to your experiences too. Back to school after a long, hot summer. But as the temperatures start to drop, lots of young people are worrying about staying warm. I don't know, I just feel like it's going to be really cold because it's going to be more expensive for heating. We do normally like a cosy house, but we have to put jumpers on instead of turning on the heating. We are now approaching Dundee. Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. It's thought that in the UK alone, close to four million children are living in poverty. So what does that mean? Well, it means they're living in homes where their parents are struggling to pay rent, heat their homes, or maybe even buy essential food items. Here in Dundee, the fourth biggest city in Scotland, it's thought that a quarter of the children here are living in poverty. And the big worry is, is that the cost of living crisis continues and those prices carry on going up. Well, it means more children will be experiencing very difficult times. Already, it's definitely something that's being noticed. The prices have gone up at like 20p or like 50p. If we're going out, we don't get dropped off, we get the bus because we don't want to waste all the gas for school and stuff. Um, the internet prices have been going up and it's kind of hard to pay. My mum and dad are just like, put a jumper on because they can't turn on the heaters. We're not allowed to use the Wi-Fi unnecessarily. And that is really annoying. So what changes have these children made? The petrol is too high for us and uh, it's hard for me to go to football and we need to find one that's around us and it's very hard to get in. I am getting pocket money, just it's been less lately because of everything going up. Sometimes I worry that like, they can't afford for me to go to my gymnastics because my gymnastics is actually quite expensive but my parents pay for it because I really enjoy it. Children in Scotland in primary one to five get free lunches. A school clothing grant is also available. And now more schools have got these kind of things, trolleys with essential food items that parents and the students can take home. And it's stocked up with pasta, potato, eggs, everything you could need. And for lots of children, this is the food that they'll be eating tonight. And schools are increasingly becoming a place where families can turn to to get even more help. We have supported families with, um, you know, things like heating vouchers or things as simple as onesies, you know, for so the children are properly dressed for bed, so it's warm and duvets and duvet covers. But I think we just need to be more on the ball, making sure that we're getting to the children that need the help um, and getting that target support in, which I think everyone really is behind working towards. Say for people who can't get breakfast at home because they don't have that much money, um, there's P7s going around with toast every morning to give them some breakfast, something to eat. All of our trips are for free and our lunches for most kids. Yeah, they're all free. We've got netball, that's free. The competitions are free. So is Glee, the Glee competitions are free. The Scottish Government told Newsround, we know this is a worrying time and we're doing everything within our limited powers and budgets to help children, their parents and carers. They go on to say most of the key decisions are made by the UK Government and that they continue to call on them to take urgent action. Well, we put that to the UK Government who say they're providing £37 billion to help households with the greatest need and supporting families through the Household Support Fund. Talking about what's happening right now isn't easy. The children at this school told me they're looking out for each other. <laughs> Good. Yeah, thanks for talking to me, guys. Where well, you can find out more about the cost of living crisis, you can head online for our full guide.